Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make the zigzag bracelet pattern number 792 on friendshipbracelets.net. Well, what I'm going to show you just right this second, this is what I use to travel with with my bracelets and stuff. I have my pattern, my scissors, my um, tape measure, and this this is a cool thing that you can get at any uh, craft store. And um, you can pull it out and it's like a circle and it's got 160 centimeters on it and these are really helpful. And then I got my two safety pins if I need them. So uh, let's get started. Um, well first this is the pattern. It's pattern number 792 and I've made some corrections and uh, things to do with it. So let's get started. So all I've done is that I've, I've started it so you can see what it looks like and uh, it's a pretty, it's a fairly simple pattern and I've done the bracelet buckle in the top and just started doing it. It's quick and it's easy and it's a great way to do a friendship bracelet in a limited, in a little amount of time. And then, okay, so let's get started. Well, the first thing you have to do is, um, the first thing you have to do is make a row of backward forward knots. So, um, you, and with these patterns you always work in, um, rows and pairs. So the first thing you need to do is tie a row of forward backward knots. So, I mean a backwards forwards knot. I'm going to go kind of fast because YouTube only allows 10 minutes. And yeah. Sorry about that. Strings got caught under the tripod. And uh, we're just, and if you don't know, and this is your beginner video, you can uh, look at my beginner video. So, yeah. <coughs> there are a lot of great videos if you don't like my video, um, but not for this pattern. Uh, Exo Cranberry, she does a wonderful job of her friendship bracelets videos, and she and I've actually learned some. I learned the heart pattern and stuff from her. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is take out your two outermost strands on the far left and the far right. And in this case, it's black. And when you're setting up your strings for this, the left and right sides have to mirror each other. So what you're going to do is you're going to tie a row of forward knots. Sorry again. What I'm doing right there with my fingernails is I'm pushing the knots up close together so the lo the back doesn't look um, messy and unkempt because if it flips over uh, and it looks nasty, people don't you really won't like it that much and you'll be uh, you'll be very uh, nitpicky with always turning it over and people kind of get annoyed. Um, next. You're going to put in the end two strands and you're going to tie another row of forward knots. This is a 
this is again it's a quick pattern and it's a cool looking pattern and um, it's fairly easy and it's a great beginner one because it has every single knot in it and it's a great one to do a video for because it's got all the knots and it shows people how to do it and um I also I like it because it shows um, the simplicity and yet the complexity of friendship bracelets that the Native Americans created so it was a uh, they're pretty cool <laughs> take out your outermost strands again and then tie up uh, the a final row of back forward knots And um, please leave your comments on my videos. Please don't make them mean and angry. <laughs> I don't like mean, angry comments. Now that I've tied my last forward knot, um, there's only two. There's only two more rows left, and so that's why it's a quick, quick pattern. There's only two more rows left in this. So uh, the next step, the next step is to tie a row of forward backward knots And the final step is to tie a row of backward knots. So, and then you gotta take out your outermost strands. And see, what I do kind of is I work from left to right, and then when I take these out, I work from right to left. So it just uh it, it kinda puts me in a a groove you could say. And then, and now you're done. So that was easy. And so what you need to do to just keep doing it is repeating from step one. And then this is why I push the back up so that it uh it um looks neat and nice instead of jumbly. And you can see all the colors that you're using as your holding strands. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.